Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Good, Lorena. How are you? Good, good. And you? Fine. Okay, like good. Like always, busy. Trying to, to finish the day. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Trying for cooking. And, uh, well, I still get from the, I still, uh, pardon, came from the supermarket. All right, you have just arrived. You have just... So, right. Uh huh, just arrived. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, so um, you're still, you know. I to say the, 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 the stuff. The, the goods, things, uh, the goods, know, the, the things food. you uh -huh, that you bought. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Great. So I mean so you can see my, my that's that's <laughs> the proof. That's the proof. Okay. Proof All right. For my kit. Hey, that's good. But I no. found by I, I, I found um um jelly. Uh-huh. I don't know what is the yearly. You left it somewhere. The diet. I don't <laughs> know where I put it. Oh, I remember. And the this is still in the, the car. Refrigerator. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So you, you are putting <laughs> no, everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are putting everything in its in its place. In different right? places. Yes. No. Yeah. That, that's yes, the way it is. Right. Yes. Okay, good. And so I will turn the camera, but I will listen to okay. everything you, you speak. No problem. And what about the weather? How's the weather? Um, here in my house, it's raining right now. Okay. It's a little slow, um, but it's, uh, como se dice, continue. But it keeps, it keeps raining. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where do you keeps live? It's raining. Yes, that's. Um, in Marliot. Okay, so that's so. I mean, the in, San, in, in, Santa, in Santa Tecla it's raining. In Santa Tecla, yes, mm -hmm. we are in Antigua Cuscatlán. Ah, okay, yes, I'm yeah, here because from Santa Tecla. Here in um, uh, in La I don't Lourdes. know why, pero ah. Marliot is part of uh, yes, Marliot is part of Antigua. Mm hmm. Ah, okay. okay. You live in Lourdes. Yes, I live in Lourdes, but here it is stopped okay. raining like like at five or six o'clock, I guess. So it hasn't rained. Well, it rained all, all night, all day, but around 6 p.m. it is stopped. It's quiet right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not raining too much. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's in the cool. morning was raining a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. But not very hard. Not very I hard, went to the hospital. Rain. Uh huh. In the in, in San Salvador, yes, because I went to the hospital, and and was what was raining uh, a lot. A lot, yes. All yeah, that, the morning. Yeah, that's yes, what they said. The and in the morning was raining a lot in San Salvador. Okay, but uh, but mm -hmm. you, you went to the hospital, but to see somebody, not because of you. Uh, because I. Um, Danon, Danon or Donan? Blood. Uh, to donate. You were to donate. You went to donate, donate. blood. Uh -huh. Blood. Okay. I, I saw in um, um, in an advisement mm -hmm. uh, that word Donan. Yes, donan. That's the person. Donan. The person. Ah, and okay. the action, the action is donate. I went to donate. Donate. Oh, okay. I went to mm -hmm. donate blood for my mm -hmm. sister. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. is, this is going to be okay. It's nothing serious. Um, a little bit, yes, because she has um. Uh, ella me dijo ahora que es es un infarto cerebral. Wow. But the the diagnostic before mm -hmm. was meningioma, meningioma or meningioma, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, it's like um, tumor, mm -hmm. but it's 
Pero te lo bueno, vea. Yeah, it's a cool it's one. Benin. Benin. Ajá, ya. But the thing is that um, she gets convul convulsion. Convulsion. Ajá. She convulsionates. Mm -hmm. And yes, and she has a lot of uh, headache. Okay. It's because the it's because the the oh, yes. el tamaño de the size. Measure or the, the size, the uh -huh. size uh -huh. of the of, of the tumor. The, the, mm -hmm, of the tumor. Okay. So right now she's waiting for the operation, but Mm -hmm. uh, she told me that the UCI was mm -hmm. complete and um, the hospital doesn't have chance for okay. her, so she's waiting. Yeah, she's um, like on the waiting list. A, back, a vacant or mm -hmm. uh, space to be operated. Okay, well, I hope mm -hmm. she, gets, she gets fine soon, right? I hope to, I, I hope um i hope she she will she will be better because mm -hmm. the neurolog the neurologist says that it it is not so um dangerous mm -hmm. but it's um the level of convulsion is mm -hmm. very high that's the only problem that she that that he told me okay but with the new diagnostic i don't know I really don't know. Tomorrow I'll hope to ask him uh, about the new diagnostic mm -hmm. and know what will be the um, consequences. The consequences of it. Wow. Well, that's mm -hmm. that's kind of serious. Huh? Teacher me entendió. Yes, of course. Everything. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, Arely was here listening too. No, that's good. Actually, it's, uh, Hi, Arely. I mean, um, don't worry about uh, try to to explain things in English. That that's not easy to to explain uh, because it's you not easy, yeah. uh -huh, because but at the beginning because you are thinking trying to find the words right. But uh, yes. but if you and practice, to, uh -huh, uh -huh. when you practice, you will see that little by little it becomes easier, right? Right now, probably you find it very difficult because oh, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is correct. Don't worry. Just let it go. Okay, little by little, you will get the words. Okay, actually, the vocabulary hey, Lorena. was good. Mm -hmm. Hola, Lorena. Hola, Arely. Who is sick? Look, listen, you see. Who is who mm -hmm. is who? Who is sick? My sister. Because she ah, was my, uh -huh. my sister. My sister, she uh -huh. she's at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because... yes, she's at the hospital. Okay. And, uh, and Lorena, this morning, she went to the hospital to, to donate, to donate, blood. Uh, to donate her blood to, for her sister. Blood. blood uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. And the hospital was um, complete. It was Incredible. Full. It, was, it, it, was, it was crowded. It was complete. It was crowded. It was crowded. Yes, huh? multitude, I know, yes, uh -huh. It was crowded. crowded. And it is incredible how the people doesn't um, doesn't have cons conscience. Consci conscience? Uh -huh. Yes, they are they are not them. they are not aware. They are not because, aware. Uh, they are not uh, aware. Aware. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. the people doesn't keep the distance. Mm -hmm. They sit uh, at the side of the other person, or talking, or they took they took their their face, mm -hmm. or take off the the mask. Mm -hmm. And I was really scared. I was really no, really I see scared. COVID. No, 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 my sister, no. But I, I was. Um, I'm afraid. I was afraid. I was afraid. Uh -huh. Yes, because it is a hospital and for the COVID and the people doesn't keep the distance mm -hmm. and for everything. And they were, really? they, were they wearing the surgical mask? Yes. Okay. Yes. The but most of close. the people have it. 
-hmm. Yes. That too close. That's the, that 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 was the problem. The mm -hmm. people sit beside others, mm -hmm. very very close, and, and probably keep the the, and probably they are sick about other things too. Probably, yes. probably. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the, your defenses are low. If you are yes, in the hospital. Yes, and the other thing. Uh huh. And the other thing was in the in the place in which you gave or you give the blood. Uh, I don't know if the people who work in there sanitize everything mm -hmm. inside. So mm -hmm. I'm afraid for that. But I tried to keep calm and uh, just trust in God. Yes. That was yeah. my that was my morning. No, and also if you are a, if you are let's say the let's uh, your defenses are high, then it's not a problem, right? The problem is when yes. you are when you are a little sick or when you feel you feel down when your defenses are going down. That's that's the problem in that moment, okay? Mm -hmm. Because probably mm -hmm. you can you can be next to a person who has the the virus. You can get any any illness, mm -hmm. right? But, Not uh, exactly COVID, mm -hmm. maybe but another if, thing. Exactly. But if you and have remember, a, uh huh. If, no, if you have a good vitamins and everything in your body, then no problem. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. So well, don't uh, don't how worry. Was your day, Adelie? You'll be okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, when, Thank uh, you. My day is uh, relaxed. Okay. In my work. All right. And, uh, I win um, better your brother. Your sister. Your sister. Mm -hmm. I your hope, sister. I hope your sister. I, I hope your sister gets better. Okay. I hope, hope your, your sister. sister gets better. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Adeli. Thank okay. you. I hope so too. Okay, good. Aquí Thank you. And now we have Carla here. Uh, how are you, Carla? How is everything? Hi, teacher. Yes, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, how was your day? Rainy? Not too much rain? Really? Not really. Okay, good. Excellent. And you, Romeo, how was your day? Romeo and Juliet. How, how was, good evening. Hello, good, good evening. evening. How was your day, Romeo? Intern. Good, no, not many problems. No. Okay, I think he's having problems with the internet. Okay, guys. Oh, Claudia is here too. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. Working or not working? Working. Okay. At this time again? Sorry? At this time, right now? Um, yes. Okay. Similar to last night. Yes. Okay. Similar. <laughs> similar. Okay. Very good. Now let's see uh, what we have for today. Let me see. This is the last video that we watched last night, right? It was about big families <clears throat> and just in the Present continuous. Just let me turn the sound, 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 sound. Where is it? Here. Okay, listen to the conversation again and then we check vocabulary. Hello, do you come from a big family? <clears throat> listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. 
Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Type your answers on our discussion. How many brothers and sisters do Meili have? Maybe uh, have one, one, um. Uh, let me see, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here. Okay, look at Meili. Meili. Here. Oh, look. Uh, she's an only, she's an only child. Okay, so how many brothers and sisters does she have? Seven. Mainly? Seven. Uh, she's the only one. Uh huh. Then, how many brothers or sisters does she have? Zero. Zero, right? So, none. Okay, you can say that she has none. Okay. What is Meili? Meili is the name. Oh. Meili okay. is the name, the name of the girl. Okay. Okay, none. Okay. So these are quanti quantifiers, right? None, no brothers, no sisters. And what about Marcos? How many brothers and sisters does he have? She has three brothers and two sisters. He has three brothers. Three brothers, three brothers and two and sisters. Two, and two sisters. Yes, you can see here it says, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Okay, so he has a, remember Five. that the, yes, the, los quantifiers, uh, the words that we use for quantities are relative, okay? Son relativo, because you can say he has many, many brothers and sisters, right? Five, five is so mucho, but I don't know. What do you think? Uh, many? Yes. Uh -huh. In our society, if you don't, depend, it's, it's a lot it, of, it's relative, right? Because if you have money, a good salary, uh, then no problem, okay? But if you don't have enough for everybody, probably is too many, okay? So it depends, okay? Then, uh, uh, for example, I have four children, okay? Use okay. many. Huh? Use many. I use many when... Uh, Se puede contar. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Y son bastantes, right? You can say mm -hmm. much. You can say muchos, right? You can say a lot. Okay. Bastantes too. Okay. You can say a few. Ya vamos a ver those words. All right. So, but in this case, we can say that uh, uh, Marcos has three brothers and two sisters. Five. Okay. Uh, I had four sisters. Okay, I had four sisters, so with me, we were five. Okay, four sisters and me. Then, it's a kind of big family. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Meili, none. Marcos, three brothers five. and two sisters. Five in total. <clears throat> okay. Five. Me? Hello, Hello. you come from a big family? Wait, wait, wait. Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about... Sorry, uh-huh. Um, how do you say um, her hermanos? In... in general. In general, yes. Siblings. Si 
Siblings. Siblings. Uh -huh. Siblings. Okay. Siblings. Look in the chat. Okay. Siblings. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See. Siblings. Okay. Okay. Ah. Siblings. Those, uh -huh. So those are for brothers and sisters in general, right? Uh, uh, only only brothers only men then we say brothers Brother. okay if you have only, only women uh -huh. women. only women sisters, sisters. okay oh. and then if you have him in, in plural brothers uh, boys and girls then you say siblings All right. So in this case, we can say that Marcos has five siblings. Okay. okay. Then, look at this. No, you're welcome. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers. Look at this word, quantifiers. Quantifiers is a many, a lot, a few, a little, much, okay? The, the quantities, uh -huh. quantifiers is Fires. words, words to express quantities. For example, how much coffee do you drink during the day? Two coffee. I drink, uh -huh. I drink, I drink two coffee. Two Little. Cups, two cups of coffee. Uh huh. A, a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. Okay, a lot of coffee. Probably four cups of coffee. No. Or five or three. Okay. So then this is a lot of coffee. Okay. Now in these days I drink, uh, let's say, a little coffee, like two cups. Two cups in the day. A little. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Or a few cups. A few is poco. A few is for plural. One, two, uh -huh. three, four. A little is for non count. Okay? Uh -huh. oh, okay. For example, I, I drink water, okay? But I drink a little water. No count. A little. A little, okay, mm -hmm. no a few, no a few water, a little. Because the water, you cannot say one water, two waters, three waters, you cannot count, a little, ah, a little, a little, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We say a few is for, for things that you can count, okay? For example, in this class, we are one, two, three, four, five, five. six, seven. Seven is uh, a few, a few students. Oh. Uh -huh. But you can count a few. No, a little students. Mm -hmm. Okay, because a little students son así chiquititos. Uno de estudiantitos, right? <laughs> then, uh, then you can say a few and a little. It's different. It, similar in the meaning, but different use. Little mm -hmm. is for things that you cannot count, and a few um, for things that you can count. And, and when you use how much? How, how much is when you want to know things that you cannot count? How much money do you have? How much coffee do you drink? How much, uh, let's see, uh, how much sugar do you put in the coffee? Okay, how much water do you drink a day? Okay, uh, how much, what else? Um, let me see, how much rain does it fall in winter? How much snow? Okay, because these are things that we cannot count. How much is for things that we cannot count? Quanto? Mm -hmm. Yes, and how many? Plural. Okay. Quantos, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's watch this video and see some examples. We look at all 
nearly all, most, many, a lot, some, not many, a few, few, no one. No one is similar to none. To none. Okay. No one, no one. No one, okay. Uno. Mm -hmm. No one gets, or nadie, right? No. no one gets married before the age of 18. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use the words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Some families are smaller these days. Okay, so we have all is for, let's say, 100%, and then nearly all is like probably 90, right? 90%. Most will be like probably 70 or 80%. Then you have many, which is probably 60, a lot of 50, 40, and this one probably from zero to 30%. A few is minimum, a few is minimum, right? Then you say a few. I have few friends in the United States. Few is bien pocos, right? And a few, unos cuantos, es un poquito más, right? So the letter A makes the difference. Few es menos que a few, okay? Pero para cosas que se pueden contar, even including, including people, okay? No many. Sorry? Not many. Okay. Uh -huh. Not many, not many is also for, no muchos, right? So I have... Pocos, unos cuantos, y no muchos. Okay, so uh, then... Nearly all? This is casi, almost. <coughs> casi todos. Nearly all. Most is like the majority. Most, like majority. Yes? Uh, majority. Most, mm -hmm. la mayoría. And then you have many. Many, a lot, and some. Many is mucho. Mm -hmm. A lot of is Bast bastante. Bast yes. And some then you have algún. some, and that's correct. Algún. Thank you. Okay, so then you have here all these words that you can use in and this one is, as I told you, is relative, right? Because for some people, eh, I don't know, I have friends, 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 
I can say that probably have one, two, three in the United States. So it's few. Okay. Uh, let's say that these are, you know, very close friends, very close friends. Uh, friends in general, probably I have a, a few, you know, like seven or eight. Okay. Seven or eight. People that I know in the United States, uh, I have many. Okay. So I have many people that I know, many people that I know are in the United States. A uh, few friends are in the United States. Few very close friends are in the United States. Okay, so, but this is, as I told you, relative. Okay, and it's relative the way you use it. Okay, then um, no one gets married before the age of 18. Here in El Salvador, no one gets married before the age of 18 because it's forbidden. Illegal. Uh -huh, it's illegal, okay? The United States. I don't know in other countries, but uh, here in El Salvador, it's forbidden, it's illegal. So no one gets married before the age of 18. This one cannot change, okay? Then uh, let's say few, few people maybe, I don't know, few people get married after the age of 18. But I don't know if it is few, a few, not many, some, probably few. Okay, now in these days it's few, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a few. Is Maurice says um, most of the people get Mm -hmm. Acompañado? <laughs> live, acompañado? Live in sin. Live they in say, sin. Live in sin. Living, uh -huh. living, living in pecado. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the way they use it. They live in sin. Live in sin. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, they live in sin. Uh, yes, most of the people live in sin. Yes, nowadays. They get married probably nearly old people get married after 30 nowadays, right? Or between 25 and 26 and... You're okay between... It 35. Men's, uh -huh. men's, men's before men. 35. Men, men men's. before yes. 35. And women before 30. Uh-huh, yes. And it's convenient for women, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the babies. Yes. If you if you want to have babies, it's before, it's better. It's if better. You, it's better to get married. Mm -hmm, young before thirty. Younger. Yes. yes. That's correct. Okay. Good. Okay. So you see, this is how you are going to use the, the, quantifiers. Okay. And remember, okay. countable and uncountable. Things that we can count. Algunos de estos, la mayoría que están acá, son para countable. Pero algunos de estos podemos usar con los uncountable, right? For example, mm -hmm. all. For example, drink all the water. Okay, drink all the water. Okay, you can use in countable and uncountable. Todo. Uh -huh. Este para ambos. Uh -huh. Most of the water. Okay, Is this three. Many, no. A lot of, yes. Some, yes. Not many, only for countable. Uh, this three is only for countable. This three, this two can be for both. Many, only for countable. Most, uh, most can be for, this three can be for both. Countable and uncountable. It's general. Mm -hmm. Most. Mm -hmm. Most, all, and nearly all. Nearly, how uh, they say, most of my money, most of my, what, most of the water, most of the water that I drink is cool, not cold, not hot, okay, it's cool, okay, cool water, okay? 
Let me see what else. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100 quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except no nearly all quantifier. Women plural percentage you want to refer refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all quantifier. Women plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one quantifier gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, so that's about quantifiers. And now we're going to see a little example here about the use of quantifiers. Robert. Uh, I read the instructions, please, Robert. Sorry, teacher. Can you please read the instructions in that uh, exercise? Okay, uh, read the following sentences. Select the response with the quantifier closet in meaning. Okay. Good. Then uh, we have here the number one says in China, oops, in China, fifty percent of women get married by the age of twenty-two. Okay, so we're going to use a lot, few, or all women. Which of the three, a lot, few, few. or all, are in the 50% range? In the I range think of... It's few. Few? Yes. Sure? Yes, because it's 50%. It's not a lot. A lot means 80 or no. Okay. 60, 70. So we're going to use this one, sorry. Good. What about the other one? In Australia, 80% of, mar of married couples have children. So that's uh, not many, some, or nearly the all. The third one. Nearly not all. Not many. The third one. Nearly all. Okay. In the States, zero percent of the people vote before the age of 18. Three. Three. No one? Okay. One. Thirty-five percent of people in Germany live alone. Thirty-five percent. Some, the first one. Some? Okay. And five seventy eight percent of American high school students have jobs. Most Not many American. I don't know. You tell me. Most or not many? Most. Most? Most. No. Okay. The majority. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Okay. Here, most is correct. Some people in Germany is correct. So it's thirty-five percent. Then we have three percent, and number three is zero percent. Is none. And then we have. In China. China. Uh, nearly all, and we have here, in China, few. Then, if it is not this one, it has to be. 
a lot of women. In China, a lot. Yes. A lot of women get Dis discrimination. Uh -huh. yes. oh. Okay, discrimination process. Because all is one hundred percent. So then we only have that one. Let's check now. Yes, and now it is complete. Okay, but then uh, let me see few and a lot of. Uh, teacher. Yes. I need help in exercise. Uh, before. Okay. Now here we have a uh, a lot. No. No, 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 yes, no, just for um, that. Exam final. Yes. Okay, uh, no, I was going to tell you that here, if you see, um, a few will be in the range of probably from, what, zero to 40%, maybe. And this one from 40 to 60, this three. Okay, and this one will be after 70, maybe. Okay, so many, a lot, and some are like in the middle, right? So for you to remember, okay? Remember this. Okay, good. Now, wait a minute here. So we have this one. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, this is the last one. Mr. Chief, the Just um, answer this question. In which one you said? Um, what was your question, Adeline? Yes. Uh, Ness. Next one? Mm -hmm. okay. uh, no, next, next. 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 Here. Uh -huh. The reading. It's correct. It's correct. A number. Uh, no, teacher. Um, when I put the names, only names, the angles, the angles. The answers? The angles. Uh, this is listening. <clears throat> okay, this is the listening. Then you have the complete the conversations. No. Then multiple choice. No. How often? I rep I respond. Are you living? Only. Names. And then the reading. Still. Uh huh. This one. I remember put Jones, Bing, Emily. Where here? No, I write the name. Ah, the names, but um, mm -hmm. the next one, but there is no more. Previous, mm -hmm. probably in the previous, multiple choice, mm -hmm. 511 maybe. Okay. The listening. No, 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 no. The other exercise. Probably in the number five. Five eleven. Mm -hmm. This one. This one. Yes. Oh yes, uh -huh. that's the one that we're going uh -huh. to. Yes. That's the uh, one that. Number. Nom... Es el que vamos a hacer ahorita ese ejercicio. Okay. That's the one that comes right now. We finish here. Mm -hmm. And then we have this one. Lesson objective is it says read an article about a family and their changes. Okay.
Okay, so here we have the next here. All right. Good. So then we have here the reading. It says the changing family. Okay. It says here the read the article of read the title of the article, then check the questions you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when both parents work? Okay, then uh, Carla, can you please read this paragraph? One, two, three, four, five lines. American family are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happened when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. The Morales family. Okay, good. Then we have uh, Lorena. Read this one. Judy and Steve. Hello, Lorena. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, American Judy. families are... Here, no, here and say Judy and Steve. Uh, Judy. Judy mm -hmm. and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12. Ben, 9. And Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay, very good. Thank you. Claudia, read the first one here. Okay. Now that Judy. Mm -hmm. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with housework. Uh, she doesn't enjoy, enjoy it. She doesn't enjoy it. Okay, Romeo, what about this one? Judy loves. Judy loves her work, but she feels uh, she feels too tired, and by and by, she also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Okay, so here busy. Okay, good. Oh, that's my life. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Okay, Robert, uh, read this one about Emily here. Okay, Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Okay, that's good. And Romeo, the last one. Well, not the last one, but this one about Benz. Infor unfortunately. Infor qué? Unf <laughs> unfortunately. 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 Benz. Benz school doesn't have an after school program. Right now he's spending 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 most after spending most after months in front of the TV. In front of the TV. Okay, good. And Areli read the last one. Just is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder. Louder? He's bending louder. 
and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. 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 Chores, okay, that's correct. Thank you. Okay, good. Questions about vocabulary, people? You know, this is similar in El Salvador nowadays. In many families, right? Not all the yes. families, not all the families, but in many families that... Yes, because I say that was my history. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Uh, many... Most of the women. Most mm -hmm. of the women nowadays work. Not all, but most, the majority. Okay? Mm -hmm. And some of them don't work because they don't they don't get a job because they most I think all women need to work nowadays in all the families. Okay, it's very few, very few probably in Salvador. Then um, another case is the case with the children, right? For example, it says Judy when Judy comes to pick her up. Emily doesn't want to go home. Why? Why do you think that she doesn't want to go home? Why, why do you think that Emily feels, feels better in the school program, in the after school program? Um, because she, she is with her mommy. Her mommy or mm. her family? No. No, but she wants to stay in the school. Okay, she wants to stay oh. in the school. She, hi, Emily, Emily says. She's having a great time in her. Uh huh. Después, so she, she, después, Emily is having a great. Mm -hmm. When Judy comes to. Most of the children, oh. most of the children, when they see the mommy or the mother, they want to go with the mother, right? But in this uh -huh, case, uh -huh. Emily, Emily is different. She doesn't want to go because, to the house. Or maybe, maybe because she, she's alone. Maybe, right? She's alone or oh. probably the mother and the father are tired okay. and they don't want to play with uh -huh. her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And her you parents working? Yes and after they feel very tired. Okay, uh, Ben doesn't have an after school program. So look, he spends most afternoons watching TV. Poor boy. Okay, now let's see the answers here. If you don't have questions, no questions? No teacher. No? Okay. Here. So, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily Who? and Jones. Emily. Are you sure? The ones who get benefit? Probably <laughs> all the three. For me, this one, only music, loud music. This one, watching TV. And Emily, child. playing in the school. <laughs> okay. So which children are benefiting from beauty working? What do you have, uh, Adelie? Emily. And Josh. Josh. Mm -hmm. Emily and Josh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about which child is not benefiting from Judy, from Judy working? Ben. In this case is Ben. Ben. Because so this guy is having, you know, freedom playing music, spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. 
But this one, nothing. Casi siempre el de medio el que da problems, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. No, teacher. Así era, así era ah. yo. Así era yo. <laughs> no. Why, why not, Claudia? No. Uh, you, you, don't, you, you are the one in the middle. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, good. But in my case, yes, yo sí. I was, I was the, the ben. yes, then, okay. Ben is the one. You were terrible, teacher. Ah, yes, I was. <laughs> Of your sister, what? my mother, <laughs> your mother, too. Your sister <laughs> was your mother's, too. Yes, because and then, they, uh -huh. Uh -huh. no, they took care of you. Yes, probably they did because you're the only the only one man in the house. Sí, sí, me so me everybody, me everybody me jumped me for, me the, for the little child. <laughs> yes, <laughs> all right. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Josh, right? He's the one who's having more freedom here. Josh. New freedom after school. Or probably Ben too, right? Because he hasn't, doesn't have anything to do. Okay. Look. What is Josh. freedom? Freedom. Liberty. Oh. Liberty. Mm -hmm. Freedom. To be free. Okay, and which family members are doing more housework? Steve. Steven? Steven. And who else? The first part. Uh -huh, the, the husband? Uh -huh. And Josh, maybe, right? A few, a few household chores. Okay, it's Stephen Josh. Ah, okay. Okay, because he's doing a few. He's also doing a few house. I write stories. only one number, not Name. one names. Mm -hmm. Which family member feels too busy? Who is Judy. very busy? Judy. Mm. Judy. Yeah, you do love yes. her work, but she feels too tired and busy, right? So also she feels, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. because sometimes she has to work and do some activities in the house, right? Mm -hmm. And there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are the... Mm -hmm. Steve and Josh, Emily and Josh, Ben, mm -hmm. and there we have. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any questions about the, let's say any other uh, case that you have in the platform? No? Tomorrow is, tomorrow is our last class, right? Tomorrow is... Tomorrow we finish very quickly, right? Four weeks, yes. four weeks passed immediately. Time is Quick. flying. Yes, time is flying. You, don't, you, don't, you never know. Tomorrow I'm going to bring some uh, uh, expressions about time, okay? So then uh, these and are- thank you for the idi example. Idi idiomatic expressions, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and today I had another one, but tomorrow we're going to do oral practice. I have to show you another one today. I gave you a list, but I also have this one. Let me see, where is it? I have one more to show you. Just give me a second, just give me one more second. And present perfect reading, this one. Okay, tomorrow uh, I will give you the expressions and I have this other one. Well, we have this exercise also, an activity and
guess I wanted to scroll down. Actors, yes, testing, uh -huh. for example, we're going to use here, there are many, some are, tomorrow we're going to practice with uh, the quantifiers, okay, any, I will bring some others, much, some, many, okay, much, many, any, affirmative, negative sentences, okay, this is what we have for tomorrow, and if you have questions about the platform, let me know. And in, at the end, we are going to, to check in general the, the final exam, right? So just to see if you have any questions. If you can do it during the day, no problem, okay? You can do it. And then in the night, we can check the, the doubts or la dudas que tengan we can, from the exam. We can do it during the class. Okay. Okay, everybody. So have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take Thank care. You. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.